in my opinion, uh, really frankly speaking, we, we've had to start with copyright. We start with AVMS, with CAPSAT, we talk just about the creative Europe, but what is really important, we should really define the rights. Still, we have the, the last, this InfoSoc directive, we talk about the, you know, what is the copyright, what is the uh, intellectual property, also with some exception, for example, what is the free or access for free as well, different exceptions. But just now the, the, the reality outside here, uh, this digital, digital world, opened a really incredible scope for the possibility for interpretation of such definition. And that we started at European uh, level and also in the Parliament, this, this discussion, this um, with different sectors, with, with, with public consultation, this is a long time. And just now we will have next week this so named vote time uh, for a mandate, from the mandate. Mandate means we, as a European Parliament, if we receive such mandates, we will go in the trilogue. I mean, the negotiation time between European Parliament, Council, European Council, uh, and uh, Council of European Union, and, and of course, the European Commission. Negotiation means we will once again talk, and this is, in my opinion, what just happened around this atmosphere, around the copyright. Uh, some people use this expression that will be no freedom in the internet, will be censorship or something like this. We talk about the interpretation and in different articles in these proposals. But I repeat, once again, we, will, we talk about the no text, we talk about the procedure steps, steps to go to the mandate. Finally, that will be once again negotiated between three institutions, as I just mentioned, to have a maybe uh, compromise or a solution. What is in this new digital world, what we talk also in the Europe digital single market, new uh, definition of copyrights. Copyrights of uh, film creators, top copyrights of artists, copyrights of uh, publishers, top copyrights of, 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 of the designers, everything what is around this creative European creative world. Without such rule, without such, such argument, we will all the time lose against piracy. But behind this, nobody from us, especially from the European Parliament, will uh, destroy it, so names as people use, free access to internet or freedom of expression. It is not, because in a still in the last, I, I said before, in a style, in the last InfoSoc, we talk about the different exceptions. Exceptions, I mean, that what the every user, every consumer every day can do. We talk only about what they, they, uh, the people that give us this possibility to use such platform should resolve the problem with different, you know, uh, producers, distributors, actors, uh, directors, filmmakers, or painters, or book writers. That is only this question, not the question to the access. And I mean, there's a lot of really uh, a strong misunderstanding in the, 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 this atmosphere around this. We should fight for this. If we talk about the European value, if we talk about the European sectors, we should help, we should put the rules, but never to stop access for the people. Okay, uh, first of all, as well, uh, Creative Europe. Uh, Creative Europe, uh, this is part of this new MFF, the multi-annual financial framework. Frankly speaking, new budget, as you said, 2021, 2027. Just now we will have still the, uh, the Creative, work, uh, Creative Europe program still work, for example, the 2020, which is, you know, everyone can really prove a different project, different program, attendment, uh, accessibility, and so, however. But we talk about the future, new budget, and a, a new Creative Europe uh, is also to part of this new budget negotiation. Uh, in my opinion, there's still the draft proposal from the Commission side about to improve, frankly speaking, the money from the 1.4 uh, billion euro from whole Creative Europe because we have media and culture and cross-sectoral uh, project uh, program. Uh, then to in to increase them to 1.85 is, is better. But as you also hear during the different panels and also the position from the reporter from the cult committee from Ms. Silvia Costa as well for different shadows, which is one of them I'm uh, I myself. Then we also to push maybe for a possibility to increase the budget because of different points and different interpretation of the guidelines that some commission proposal is. 
and to talk about the, if we talk about the employment market, if we talk about the different access to the different projects or events, if we talk about the uh, cross-sectoral cooperation, if we talk about the, first of all, we should push talent in the, in the main position because the creative is a talent, to discover talent, to push for the talent. And of course, it's important to have this common position and to say this more view. Uh, but it is the, strictly just now the discussion, really strong discussion about the new MFF from the different perspective. We welcome, first of all, the proposal from the Commissioner Ottinger, from the Commissioner Ottinger to bring also this part of culture, what we use globally culture, and the second heading, which is really high in the, in the, you know, the story of the, of the preparation new European budget, is important for us, from the, for the European Parliament. We also, to mention the uh, importance of delegated acts, so names delegated acts, to bring sometimes for the rule what we have more flexibility, which can be better uh, give us chance, for example, if we receive the information or some research from the different sectors, European, bigger or smaller, to have uh, some better monitoring, which is also to, in, a, in a draft report, but also to this monitoring, this transparency, give us chance to give, for example, more for more, for example, for small projects or for small uh, groups, they give the access because they can share with us data and to give, look, we have really good uh, argumentation, we have good really positive stories, and in these stories we can really invest more.